A new report by the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety says that car crashes are up in states that have legalized marijuana in comparison to their neighboring states. RKX News reporter Natalie Gomez spoke to the Highway Patrol about its concerns just one week prior to the election. Car crashes are up by as much as 6% in states like Colorado, Washington, and Oregon. These are all states that have already legalized recreational marijuana. And stats like that are something that worries law enforcement. Law enforcement today is already dealing with impaired drivers on the roadway, whether it's through marijuana, opioids, any other type of illegal or illicit drug. Sergeant Cattermas says he foresees that more impaired drivers will be on the road if marijuana is legalized. However, even if Measure 3 passes, driving while under the influence of marijuana will still be illegal. Nothing's really going to change with how we're going to conduct traffic stops. We're, law enforcement is still going to be aware. Testing for marijuana impairment is a lot like testing for alcohol impairment. Officers will look for signs of red eyes, slowed reaction, and odor. We don't have any device in the field that is going to be able to tell us what type of substance an individual is under. Dimitri Ivanov is for the passage of Measure 3. He says the new report doesn't tell the whole story. You're going to find anything on studies to prove what you want to believe. He says the study doesn't actually link marijuana as a factor in the crashes. It just claims crashes in those states are on the rise. It's not just so we can be stoners. It's so that we can have the medicinal value qualities of it. Researchers have also noted that the link between marijuana and car crashes is not as clear as the link between alcohol and car accidents. This is just one more piece of decision voters must make in the November election. For KX News, I'm Natalie Gomez. We'd like to know what you think of the safety of North Dakota roads if Measure 3 passes. Please join us in the conversation. Just head over to our KX News Facebook page.